Wednesday, Weber State celebrated the opening of the new Political and Public Service Institute. It was helped started by the first female governor of the state of Utah, Only Walker. The Wildcat Theater was filled, awaiting the governor's panel, which included former governors Norman Bangular, Mike Lovett via webcast, Only Walker, as well as current governor Gary Herbert. The event was moderated by radio personality Doug Wright. I talked to former Governor Walker to see what she wishes the Institute will accomplish. I hope the students, the faculty, and the whole community will make it grow and develop. And I'm very proud of it and will continue to work hard to see it reaches its potential. This is going to be an added emphasis on the political side of opportunities to extend your studies into college and probably have a better appreciation for politics. At Weber State University, we pride ourselves in helping our students develop as engaged citizens and future leaders of our community, our state, and our nation. And the Walker Institute will just help us energize that process. This was a, what I consider to be historic at so many different levels. First of all, to have this great institute of politics under Olin Walker's name launched here at Weber State University, that in and of itself was just spectacular. But then for Governor Walker and the university to put together the kind of panel that they had was just amazing. It's really cool that all the governors would come to Weber State. Um, and I love that they focused on education. I just love that they're involved. Because I felt a heavy burden on my shoulders to prove that a woman could get things done as governor. <coughs> The Walker Institute's vision is to provide training for future leaders and understanding of the political process. For Weber State News and the Signpost, I'm Andre Peterson.